Own WGN News. A memorial service was held today for former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid in his home state of Nevada. President Joe Biden and former President Barack Obama were among those who honored the longtime statesman. More now from WGN's Gaynor Hall. Be still. His example was one of love. Family members, top Democrats, and his favorite musicians celebrating the life of Harry Reid at a memorial service in Las Vegas. He was tough as nails, fighter to his core, but also one of the most compassionate individuals you could ever imagine. He never forgot where he came from. He always stuck up for the underdog. And the little guy. Born into poverty in a tiny Nevada town named Searchlight, Reed went on to serve more than three decades in Congress, reshaping politics in his home state and beyond. He was instrumental in urging Barack Obama, then the junior senator from Illinois, to run for president and became one of Obama's greatest allies. He was one of the first people to encourage me to run for president. Believing that despite my youth, despite my inexperience, despite the fact that I was African American, I could actually win. President Biden remembers his former colleague and friend as a fighter who was true to his word. Harry would always have your back, like the guys I grew up with. Harry had mine, and he knew I had his. Although I sometimes wondered when I was trying to make an important point to Harry about whether he really did have my back as he hung up. But to tell the truth, every time, every time he would do it, I knew it was real, the real Harry. He died in December after a battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 82 years old. Next week, Reed will lie in state in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.